Hi, welcome to Sports Talk SBC. I'm Spencer Anderson here with Amari and Hunter. Today we're going to be talking NBA Finals. It's all eyes on Milwaukee for Game Six between the Bucks and the Suns. Who you guys got? I got the Bucks. Um, team that has momentum, a team that's been playing real good through the stretch, a team that you know has players stepping up from the bench who can come in the clutch, and also Drew Holiday playing tremendous defense. Middleton stepping up when Giannis is cold, so I'm taking the Bucks. Yeah, I, I like the Bucks tonight too. Even though I think the Suns will put up a little bit more sense of urgency, I still like the Bucks at home. Uh, they've been unbeatable at home. So hopefully Chris Paul will have a good game if the Suns want to win. But if he doesn't, it, this could be a blowout. But I want a close game tonight, but I like the Bucks in a close one. I think Chris Paul, if the Suns are to win and send it back to uh, Phoenix for Game 7, I think Chris Paul definitely needs to uh, have a step-up game tonight. He's been a little bit rough so far these NBA Finals. Uh, after Game 1, he hasn't had too many great performances. And I think, like you said, uh, Amari, like you talked about, there's a lot of Bucks players coming off the bench that are doing well. You got to talk about guys, obviously Giannis is, Giannis is being Giannis. You've got Chris Middleton in there. I think the Bucks have a really solid rotation. But I think if this series goes back, and they somehow win in Milwaukee. I think if it goes back to seven, it's going to Phoenix. I think their crowd's going to get in, get them in the game, and I think that energy there is just going to be too much for the Bucks to handle. Yeah, but I mean, I also think that Milwaukee, they've been, they've shown they can win in Phoenix. So I think they could also give them advantage in the game seven as well. So it, it'll be interesting to see, but all eyes will be on Milwaukee tonight, as you said. Absolutely. Yeah, I agree. Um, if it goes back to Phoenix. I mean, I agree with what Hunter said. They just need to stay focused, you know, get the job done. And they proved before that they can win in Phoenix. So all they got to do is just keep having this same momentum and keep playing great on the court. And then they can be crowned champions. Yeah, definitely. 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 And also, if for the, for the Suns, you have to – campaign has to step up. Uh, Cam Johnson, the Suns bench has played awful in this series. And it can't just be the starters. The bench also has to step up because the Bucks bench is outplaying the Suns bench, and they have been for this entire series. All right, now we've got a caller coming in here on the line. Now we'll put you on speaker here. Thank you very much for calling in SBC Radio. You're live with Spencer, uh, Amari, and Hunter. What's your question, caller? Hello. Hello, how are you doing? I just had a couple of questions. All righty, what's your questions? Who do you all think is the X factor for the Suns tonight? Uh, I'll take that one. Chris Paul, without a doubt. <laughs> Chris Paul, without a doubt. Um, <laughs> Chris Paul, without a doubt. Um, he is the X factor. If you look at the games that the Suns have won, it's Chris Paul. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it seems like a call is <laughs> a little difficulty. <laughs> On the other hand, yeah, I think I think I think Chris Paul is definitely gonna be have to be a big factor for the for the Suns in Game Six. Like we talked about a little bit earlier, he's he's had a rough series, but I think if he can step it up, he can do well. But for me, I don't know. I think if Booker can have a a great game, I think Booker can be the X factor um, because I honestly he's been probably the Suns' leading player to me in the playoffs so far, and I think that he's got to be the guy that's gonna have to. I'm not saying put the team on the back, but I think he's going to have to have a big performance. If nobody else is going to step up, he's going to have to big time. Yeah, obviously, I agree, too. Um, like you guys are saying, Chris Paul just needs to step up and not play too big of a game, but just play his role as being a leader and being a point guard of a team. And also, like you said, campaign, um, Kaminsky, all those guys just need to step up and play in big time moments like, get, like this game six. So, yeah. No, yeah, I mean Frank Kaminsky. Though I mean, great college player. Um, but in the one game he played in, I think game four, four it was game three or game four, he looked awful. Uh, and Monty Williams hasn't gone back to him, so I don't see him going back to him tonight in the elimination game. He do the Sarge injury, they've had to limit uh, shrinking the rotation even more. Uh, Frank Kaminsky is getting in tonight. I'll tell you that right now. Now, if the series ends tonight, Game Six in Milwaukee, who's your MVP for the Bucks? Oh, that's tough. Um, I'm actually gonna 
go Chris Middleton, and here's why. I think Middleton has shown he's been the closer uh, for this Bucks team in the in the finals. Uh, if you look at Game Five, he hit some clutch baskets. If you look at Game Four, he was the one who put the team on the on his back. He outscored the Suns down the stretch by himself. So I think Chris Middleton uh, definitely could win uh, to win MVP. Even though Giannis has put up some great numbers, but Middleton has closed out the big games for them, for the Bucks. Yeah, I will go with Middleton too, but I'm actually going to go with Drew Holiday. You know, somebody who had a really good game five, who got a steal late in the fourth quarter and ooped it to Giannis to win the game. Somebody who came into a big role this year with Milwaukee in his first year, and also somebody who was just a really good defensive point guard. And I feel like that's what a team needs to succeed in the finals. Even though he didn't really have a – he had like some average – playoff games before and a couple rounds before, but in his final series, he really stepped up and played his role. I think it's definitely going to be almost any of, you can, to me, you could pick any of the three between Giannis, Middleton, and Howard. I think all three of them have been clutch and great for Milwaukee so far. When one's gone cold, the other stepped up, and I feel like that whole thing is going to put them to the top over in game six. Uh, thank you very much for joining us here on SBC Radio. I'm Spencer. I've been here with Amari and Hunter. Thank you. Have a great night. Enjoy game six.